Mars, that red planet, it never ceases to draw the attention and imagination of young and old like a moth is drawn to fire. Tales of untapped and yet undiscovered potentials for scientific breakthroughs and possibly life have been captured in a countless number of movies, books, video games, and more. Join us today as we look into how NASA wrote history by remotely controlling a small drone over a vast distance, and how they overcame challenges that Mars threw at them. The advent of the internet allowed news to spread rapidly and be more accessible to everyone in the 21st century. News like how humanity had been blessed in recent space-related events, which led to history being written for generations to come. Scientists all over the world have been relentlessly working on unlocking the vault to untold secrets of Mars. Several international space agencies had sent all kinds of spacecraft with all different purposes to the planet to get a tiny little glimpse of this new alien world. For all the good intentions, it's kind of unfortunate that these missions often ended up leaving garbage behind once the assignments were concluded. The more cynical might even call it the future international landfill in outer space. The real star of this episode is a NASA-built rover named the Ingenuity. It is a new breed of rover since it has the dual function of being a helicopter. Its mission was simple. Just fly for long enough without crashing so it can record Mars, take pictures, videos, etc. This little helicopter actually wrote history when it pierced into the Martian atmosphere inside Perseverance and successfully landed on the surface to great fanfare and acclaim on Earth. It was one of NASA's most nuanced and proudest moments. Senior scientist Matthew Glombeck called the Ingenuity team to express his overwhelming joy and ecstatic congratulations upon hearing of the craft's successful landing. Ingenuity, also called the Mars Copter, isn't built like a conventional helicopter that you may know on Earth. The differences could not be more striking other than the primary purpose of beating air into submission for flight. Ingenuity also served as a tech demo and a proof of concept. It demonstrated that a rover equipped with the latest and greatest of today's tech standards could survive the stresses and challenges of each complex phase of the mission. The initial mission objectives were to survey the ground, the environment of said ground, and whether a powered flight could be done on Mars. The crux is unpowered, and for that, a favorable atmosphere has to exist. Mars has one, but it's thin and prone to be uncooperative. Its atmospheric volume is less than 1% of that on Earth. So, how did they overcome that? First was the question of how to keep the rover alive from afar. The rover's primary power source was electricity. Since all batteries eventually run flat, what could keep them charged for extended periods? The team mounted solar panels to tackle that problem. Before attempting its first flight, the copter had to go through several test phases, including priming the rotor blades. It accomplished this initially by wiggling the four feet long blades and spinning them at a low rate of about 50 RPMs. But ramping those RPMs up to full speed caused some issues. It was decided to delay the flight to ensure that the discovered concerns would not jeopardize the whole mission. The copter is lightweight, just pushing under 4 pounds or about 1.8 kilograms on Earth, but on Mars an instant diet caused it to weigh merely a 1.5 pounds. During the cold Martian nights, Ingenuity kept the batteries humming to avoid the frost or ice buildup on its critical flight surfaces. Against all odds, Ingenuity took off for the first time on April 19th of 2021 and made history by lifting off the ground, hovering briefly over it at a height of about 4 meters and finally landing back onto terra firma. The whole event lasted about 40 seconds, defining a milestone that took decades to work towards. On April 22nd, the rover took off once more, climbing up to an altitude of 5 meters, moving laterally for a brief moment, and then landing again. This lasted 52 seconds. During that test flight, Ingenuity focused the built-in camera into different directions in midair. It took incredible color pictures of the Martian wasteland. The third flight took place on April 29th, but good fortune had run out as the Ingenuity could not switch back into flight mode for a fourth attempt. The team worked on a solution and sent command sequences from Earth that were ultimately acknowledged by the rover. It completed its fourth flight on April 30th by setting up a new speed record of 13 kilometers per hour and covered 266 meters of ground distance. That flight lasted for 117 seconds. At last, after several more flights, the rover pinged a signal back to Earth, which the whole team and all that participated in that project have been waiting for. Mission accomplished. The rover continued to take pictures and even sent a black and white video of its own shadow to great jubilation of the team back on Earth. Flying on Earth would have been a very different experience from Mars, where the gravity is about 62% of Earth's. In addition, the thin atmosphere also creates far less lift. In comparison, it would be like flying the rover an altitude of about 100,000 feet from the Earth's surface. The record currently held for conventional aircraft is 85,000 feet. Still, most commercial jetliners all fly at altitudes at or below 41,000 feet. 
The project manager of the Ingenuity team, Mini Ong, addressed and praised the group as essential and indispensable in assuring the success of humanity's first flight outside its own planet. Incidentally, Mini was also facing a wall with the quote, dare mighty things engraved on it. These exact words were brandished on the rover's descent parachute. Curiosity and the strive to go above and beyond has always been a defining characteristic of human beings. Inspired by questions like, are we alone in this universe? Or, can we reach the stars and beyond? Space was always an enigma that scientists for generations have pondered over. Ingenuity wasn't the first man-made vehicle to make landfall on Mars. Over the past few decades, many now completely defunct vehicles and crafts landed ahead of Ingenuity. By observing and comparing them, we can see unprecedented changes in technology and engineering and manufacturing. Each subsequent era becomes more sophisticated than the last. The first rover was named Sojourner in 1997, and like it, many others would follow and write their own little adage to the annals of history. However, the largest piece of equipment currently roaming the island of Mars is by far the Perseverance made by NASA. In February, the Perseverance landed on Mars and drove around the planet with ingenuity safely kept inside its belly. The primary purpose of Perseverance was the collection and sampling of Mars soil and rock composition. Mrs. Ong still recalls the beautiful imagery of that flight that Sojourner produced back in 1997. It reminded NASA and others of the lessons to be learnt and that space travel is and will remain a long-term project. It paved the way to clear prevalent challenges, only to be presented with new ones shortly after that. During a press conference, Michael Watkins, JPL director, said that the Ingenuity team has successfully given mankind a third dimension and a substantial upgrade to what Sojourner had accomplished generations before. He concluded by adding, It is the way we thrive on building the future. With Ingenuity's success, what comes next, one might ask? Josh Ravage, a lead mechanical engineer of Ingenuity, hinted at many possibilities and applications. For example, a small vessel like Ingenuity could prove very useful for exploring areas of Mars that are hard to access on tracks or wheels, such as mountains, ravines, and canyons. Recon and terrain imaging support for robotics would also likely be a domain where the knowledge gained could be applicable. We'll likely hear more in the not-so-distant future about Mars, the indomitable drive of mankind to reach the stars and beyond. Tell us what you think about the rover in the comments section.